Hi, this is Emil from Scaleflex, the team behind Cloud Image. If you're looking to resize, optimize, accelerate, and deliver pixel perfect images to any user on any device instantly, then you're at the right place. Thank you very much for registering. In this short video, I will walk you through the implementation options available to you. Whether you're a developer working on front end code or a marketer or e commerce manager working with CMS, this onboarding video will show you how to set up Cloud Image in a few minutes on your website, e commerce, or mobile app. So let's get started. The most important thing is your cloud image token. It identifies your cloud image tenant and carries all storage settings, such as for example, on Amazon S3 bucket hosting your origin images, various image settings, such as domain aliases or custom C names, compression settings, presets, watermark, and much more. Back now to the home page, where you can see a bunch of consumption stats and optimization ratios, which are updated every 24 hours, the list of your tokens linked to your account. And yes, you can have multiple ones if you're managing multiple websites or environments and want to have dedicated cloud image settings per site or environment. And finally, the various implementation options available for developers or marketing slash non-technical users. Let's start with developers. The first option to implement cloud image is by using our very simple get API. Let me demonstrate this to you. We have here the example of a bag, which is almost one megabyte heavy. And as you can see, it's a 12 megapixel image. All you need to do in order to resize, optimize and accelerate this image over CDN is to prefix by token.cloudimage.io the URL of the origin image and suffix it with the transformation parameters, in this case, width equals 400 pixel and gray, because we want to have the bag in grayscale. So I can play around here with, uh, with the query parameters and generate as many variants as I want. Everything is, as you can see, almost instant. And we obtain here WebP or AVIF compressed images delivered over global content delivery network as fast as possible to the end users. The second option to implement cloud image is by using our cloud image responsive plugin. It's a GS library also available for the most common front end development um, frameworks listed here. And the way it works is very simple. The GS script will determine the size of the container requesting an image and push a pixel perfect image to this container. In this example, we have on my retina display with a device pixel ratio of two, an image container of 1163 pixel and the responsive plugin requested an image of 2400 pixel width in WebP format, which is 180 kilobyte versus the almost three megabyte origin image. Why 2400? Because we take double the size of the image container as I am on a retina display and we need to push twice the amount of pixels in order for this image to be super sharp. This works for any, um, image container size and this script is uh, open source so we invite you to contribute uh, to it on github to make it even better so now let's talk about uh, non-technical users if you're uh, working on a um, on a cms such as magento or wordpress we have developed native plugins for this platform and um, the way to set up cloud image using these plugins is extremely simple all you need to do is to install the uh, plugins from, uh, for example, here, the Magento Marketplace and activate um, the Cloud Image uh, plugin here using the Cloud Image uh, token. There are various advanced um, options which I'll let you um, discover and read about in the documentation or directly in the plugin. And once this is enabled and saved, only uh, thing that needs to be done is to flash the Magento cache. And immediately, if we look here at our Magento shop, so this is before the plugin has been activated, we can see here that we have no responsive images, which means that regardless of the screen size or the device pixel ratio, it will always be the same heavy image here sent to the end user. And um, if I refresh this page, to see the cloud image plugin enabled, we'll see here imme immediately that we have here, based on the device pixel ratio and screen size, an image that will be responsive and adapt to the context of the user, which greatly improves the performance of this Magento shop. 
Very similarly to Magento, on WordPress, there is a cloud image plugin available completely for free. Just install it in your WordPress uh, admin, enter here a token, configure the basic settings and potentially some of the advanced settings, save the changes and your WordPress um, website will benefit from optimized and fast images to improve Core Web Vitals, user experience and so much more. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I hope this onboarding video gave you a good overview on how to implement Cloud Image. Feel free to look at our documentation available at docs.cloudimage.io for the full list of transformations um, we support. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our friendly support team. We'll do their best to answer as quick as possible. Happy accelerating.